pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. We have special session minutes of March 13th and March 14th. Regular. To, huh? Regular session for the 14th, special session for the 13th. Sorry. Do we have a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. I'll second the motion. Mr. Painter? Yes. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Humphrey? Aye. And we have a consent agenda. It was prepared for us and sent out to us on Friday. Are there any items that need to be pulled from the consent agenda for further consideration? Or can I have a motion to approve the consent agenda as a whole? I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. I'm just looking it over for a second. That's okay. okay. Yep. It hasn't changed since Friday, has it? Nope, don't think so. Second. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Aye. Non consent agenda starts on page three with item six. All right, our first item um, is a recommendation to execute. This is change order num to the, change order one to the services agreement with Motorola. Uh, this is the agreement for the maintenance on the un uninterruptible power supplies that are located at our towers. And this amendment adds two towers, the Mount Repose and the Wayne Tower sites, to that agreement. This is for an increase in the amount of $13,574 to bring the total adjusted contract price up to $162,959. This amendment then is effective for the period of 1-1-2018 through 9-30-2019. We have a motion to execute the change order number one to the service agreement is contained in item six. So moved. I'll second the motion. <clears throat> yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Aye. Item seven. Miss Recorder. Debbie. Good morning. Morning. Good to see you. I have item seven. It's recommendation of myself, Deborah Hall Clapper, County Recorder, with the concurrence of Thomas Eigel, County Administrator, to approve the request to advertise for request for proposals for contracted services for a land records recording and records management system for Claremont County to be used in the recording, maintaining, and preserving the Claremont County land records pursuant to the specifications, therefore, and to authorize the Clerk of the Board to place a legal notice in the newspaper of general circulation on 3-29-2018, scheduling a non-mandatory non pre-proposal meeting on Tuesday, 4-17-2018, at 10 a.m. in the Claremont County Auditor's First Floor Conference Room located at 101 East Main Street, Batavia, Ohio, with said proposal to be received until 2 p.m. local time on Thursday, 5-3-2018, May 3rd, 2018, in the office of the Board of County Commissioners, 101 East Main Street, Batavia, Ohio, where they will be publicly opened and acknowledged thereafter pursuant to and in compliance with Section 308.862 of the Ohio Revised Code. This notice will also be posted in the Claremont County website at the following URL link, ClaremontCountyOhio.gov. Um, just a little background. The county has had the same recording system um, for the last 20 years, although we've changed names a few times. Um, you know, I thought maybe this is a good opportunity to go out and look and, and see what other companies have to offer. The business has become more competitive. There's more companies out there ordering, offering different products. And so... At this time, I'd like to go out for a proposal to see what's out there. Sounds good. We have a motion to approve the request to advertise for a request for a proposal for the contracted services as contained in item 7. So moved. 
Second. Mr. Hubel. Yes. Yes. Aye. Thank you. Item 8. Item 8 is a recommendation of the county sheriff uh, to approve the request advertised for bids for the inmate food service for the inmates housed in the Claremont County adult and juvenile detention facilities. This is pursuant to the specs and to authorize the clerk of the board to place a legal notice in a newspaper of general circulation on March 29th with bids to be received until 2 p.m. on Thursday, April 26th. This is the second time we've gone out for bids on this. The first time uh, we entered into a contract uh, that was our first contract for food service. Um, this will be a, a follow on and we'll see who's out there. We do have uh, um, <laughs> Bill Cap. Yeah, I was trying to think of the term <laughs> Bill Hogue here in case you have any questions. But what we're doing on this one, there's a couple of things that were added. Um, one, we have an option to prepare the meals at juvenile in order to maybe maintain the, the heating quality of the foods. Um, I, I'll believe it's probably going to be a little more expensive because they're getting the efficiencies, the economies of scale by preparing it all down at adult detention and transporting it. And then the other thing we rolled into this is something that the jail started within the last contract term, which is the Fresh Express optional food purchase by the inmates of different types of variety of foods for them. We have a motion to approve the request to advertise for bids as contained in item eight. So moved. What was that, Judy? We added, I believe we've also added the CASC program to. Oh. CASC has always been included. They have always been um, part of the meals that were prepared by this company. Okay. I'll uh, second the motion. Discussion just for a second since Captain Hogue is there. Uh, Fresh Express, is that going to be extended to? Cask also? No, they do not have the uh, accounting set up to be able to purchase that. We need to do that um, based on the cask agreement. But there's nothing that would preclude them from being able to set that up if they wanted to? Correct. Nothing. That'd be a good idea to look into. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? Mr. Painter? Yes. Mr. Eubel? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Item number nine. Number nine is also another request to advertise. This is for proposals for the office copy or maintenance contract for Claremont County. Um, we're going to authorize the clerk to place a legal notice in the newspaper on March 29th with proposals to be received until 2 p.m. on Thursday, April 19th, um, where they will be publicly open and read aloud. This is one that we started a while ago with regard to consolidating all the maintenance of all the various copiers in the county. So we are going to continue this. Great. It's done, it's done well. It was a significant savings mm -hmm. for us. Do we have a motion to approve the request to advertise for proposals that contain in item nine? So moved. Second. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Painter? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Item 10. Item 10, we have one travel with Claremont Transportation Connection, Kelly Preble, at a cost not to exceed $177.75. Okay, do we have a motion to approve that item? Are we talking item 10? 10. Yes. Mm -hmm. 10. I'll make the motion for item 10. Second. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Aye. Mr. Painter? Abstain. And the following item, Claremont Transportation. Oh, that's, yeah, the, that's the item, sorry. Go to the back. No. Done, public participation. Yeah, uh, that's all, folks, huh? Okay. It is now time for public participation. Is there anyone that would like to address the board? If not, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. I'll second the motion. Mr. Painter? Yes. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. That concludes our business for today. Thanks for joining us and God bless.